Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Art 195, 3D Modeling for Animation for the Spring Semester um, 2022. Um, today's our introductory and lecture um, orientation. And so <clears throat> what I want to do is to make sure that we're all on the same page. <clears throat> you know where to get material. Um, I have a whole collection of video recorded video tutorials for you to use. I will be here also um, every Monday and Wednesday morning if you have questions or you want demonstrations in Lightwave. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you want demonstrations in Blender, then I will probably point you to some excellent videos. Um, Lightwave is my. Uh, is the software of my preference, um, but you're welcome to use either one. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna uh, take you to my website first. Okay, so that's at kmart66.com. And then we're gonna go to um, uh, Canvas in a couple of minutes, but let's go under Kirk's classes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here, and the first thing that I want to do is just show you some samples of previous students' work, so you get an idea of what can be done in here. And I can also, if you're interested, I can show you samples of what I have done, um, or what I'm currently working on. <clears throat> um, for those of you in the be beginning class, um, if you're working in uh, Lightwave, um, there will be um, basically four assignments that we will be doing. One will be the table and lamp together that I have recorded. Then there will be the um, um, uh, reboot mic um, assignment that um, I have detailed tutorials of that. Then, um, you will be doing the toy assignment, and then you'll have a final assignment of your choice. Um, for those of you working in Blender, um, I have a series of Blender tutorials available for you, and you will be doing a different assignment. The Blender tutorials, um, and I'll show you where they're at in a few minutes, um, are, um, <clears throat> for 2.8 and 3.0, I don't know which version you guys are using. Um, they're by a different person. Um, he's, I guess he's considered the blender guru. And you will be doing initially uh, a hammer, which is kind of an introductory assignment to blender. Then you'll be doing a detailed donut assignment. So that will take the place that will take you all the way up through an equivalent of the toy assignment. And then you will be required as the other class working in, um, or other students working in um, Lightwave to do um, a final project. And that will take you probably last six weeks of class and it will be your choice. But it needs to be very detailed, very um, finished, and it will involve modeling, surfacing, lighting, um, and rendering details with the, the you know, uh, that we'll have here. So let me show you, this is one that was done a while ago by Catherine Rojo. Um, and that this was her toy assignment. Um, a couple of semesters ago, um, Ray Gabriel Banang um, did this for his toy assignment. This was a final, well, it was his toy assignment. I think he did it for his final though, Jacob Rodriguez. So if you're interested in character models um, for your final assignment, um, or if you're interested in products, um, it's really up to you. I want you just simply to learn the basics of 3D modeling. Um, this is one by Benjamin Morado. He's probably one of my best students. Um, another toy assignment. This one was by Brianna Ray. Pretty wide range. Um, this is also, Victor was also 
over the years, probably one of my best students. This was his final project. And Johnny Nader, he did this a long time ago, but it's an excellent product piece. And this was done a long time ago as well. Samuel Grow, um, he did an exterior um, environment. Um, I like doing environments myself. There's another one of a character. Timothy McKinney did this one. Um, this is a pretty common piece to do for toys or for final project. Um, chess pieces. Um, this is done really nicely too. We have this robot. Robots are popular. Um, gallery that um, Poonam did a few semesters ago. Um, quite a few years ago, actually, but I found this to be um, unique and that it's more futuristic, um, almost uh, abstract <clears throat> in its nature. So um, for a final assignment, something like this would be totally acceptable as well. And then the last one that um, Carlos did, which was more organic <clears throat> whales and fish. Okay, so <clears throat> if you have questions, put them up in the chat. Um, or if you wish to speak, let me know, raise your hand and I will um, let you um, talk. Okay, so those are the kinds of assignments that we'll be doing. In addition to basics of learning, you know, overview of LightWave or Blender and that sort of thing. So if I scroll down here, um, this just gives you a basic overview of, since we're teaching online now, that I'm available um, Monday, Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the morning until uh, 11 for, for all of you. If you need to see me at um, another time, just email me at kirkmillerart at gmail.com and I will be sure and get back to you um, within a day and we can set up um, an independent or individual webinar if that's what you need. Okie doke. Um, next thing that you should do, um, again, under Kirk's classes, if we, I'm gonna go to um, weekly syllabi. Now, obviously all of you have discovered that under 195, down here, those of you who are here, that these are the links to the webinars. They're repeating. Um, so this link is the same as this one, you know, that, that just works. But for the other classes, they are different links. Um, you really should have, if you're using LightWave, um, there isn't much documentation on LightWave. That's why I'm doing the demonstrations. Um, the last one was done several years ago um, by Dan Ablin, but it's a good overview of LightWave. And although there have been a lot of additions to LightWave over the years and a lot of new features, it still gives you some of the basics, most of the basics that you will need to know. Okay. So that's under weekly syllabi. You, um, I would also encourage you to, to go here. Um, at least once a week so that you'll know what we're doing in class. You can see that um, we're where you should be, that um, um, today we're just doing um, an overview. It's kind of a tour of LightWave. Um, and let's see that. No, 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 I'm sorry. Orientation and then Wednesday should be a tour of LightWave. For those of you in the advanced class, um, you're attending the orientation today. But um, your assignments will be based, will be very different, and I'll get to that in a moment. Since you already should have a basic knowledge of LightWave or Blender, um, you're going to have only three assignments uh, for the semester. So we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. All okay. right. Um, pretty much all the handouts that I have are available here under handouts. So if we go to ORT 195, here's the room. 
And for those of you in the advanced class, ignore this because this was only for us if we were meeting in person. But if for the um, for the light wave assignments, we're doing the room, which is basically a table and lamp, reboot character toy, final project, and these are the handouts for that. Um, I have some handy links up over to the left here. So here's one for new tech. If um, if you plan on getting um, Lightwave. Um, in addition to that, if you want, let's see, here's, um, apparently you always, all, all of you already have a Zoom link, so you're able to be in touch with me. Um, if for 3D um, tools, here's a, a link to Blender so that you can um, easily access that. Um, for you, those of you in the advanced class, if you want um, uh, models, CG Trader is a good one to use. Um, so there's a lot of useful uh, links over here. Um, for those of you in uh, who will be using Blender, there's uh, some excellent um, tutorials found and it's in LinkedIn Learning, formerly lynda.com. Um, if you go to the LA County Libraries um, and get a library card, a digital one and a PIN number, you'll have access to that. And there's just tons and tons of tutorials available for Blender, lots and lots and lots of them. Um, for new tech, you'll have to go there to get um, Lightwave, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute, too. So these are the handouts. Um, you saw the weekly syllabus. That's my website. But what I want to do now is focus on um, Canvas <clears throat> so that everybody can roll on the same page. So again, um, if you need to get in touch with me, kirkmillerart at gmail.com. This is my website. So um, it's kirkmillerart.com or kmart66.com. Um, many of you have already watched the orientation video, which is required. And before I go any, well, yeah. Before I go any further, I wanna make sure, and some of you already have reached out to me um, and sent me an email um, so that we can, you can be a part of the shared um, Google Drive folder. That's really important for turning in projects and having access to additional um, uh, Lightwave files. So um, make sure that you watch the orientation video for that. Um, but you will need to if you haven't done so already. And I think I got back to everybody who got in touch with me. Um, want to email me at kirkmillerart at gmail.com and in the subject put your name um, put art 195 and put google drive and i will send you an invite um, to be a part of our shared google drive folder okie doke um, now for here's a link to the live webinars here's um a link to the, or as I said, the orientation video. Um, and in addition to that, let's go ahead and scroll down. Here's the course summary for all of the assignments that I've been talking about when they're due. Um, but in addition to that, why am I not seeing this? Um, oh, I know why. I need to go to, that's, this is, basically the syllabus for the class. So what you'll need to do, um, I'm not used to using Canvas that much, but if you go to modules, okay? This follows my, the syllabus that I have on my website pretty closely. So again, you know, a lot of redundancy just to make sure that everything is available to everyone. Here is the orientation video. Here is the orientation video addendum for those of you who plan on using Blender. 
Here is a tutorial on a uh, video tutorial on installing LightWave. It's not easy. It's um, Blender is really easy to install. Um, for the Art 195 video playlist, um, you'll click here and you'll see all of them. Also for each week um, or each chapter that we're kind of covering, I have the links to the videos here as well. So this would be lecture one, two, three, four, and we're working on the table and lamp, and you can follow those directly, those um, videos directly. And um, if you have questions about it or you get confused, just let me know, because I'll be here Monday, Wednesday mornings. For those of you working in Blender, um, we have, let's go to the Blender playlist here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Well, I may have to put this in again. Bad link. Okay. Well, goes to show you I need to te test things. Let me go to um, Art 1. Let me check the link to Blender uh, video playlist for 3.0. Oh man, that's not good. Let me try the one for Art 195 playlist. These are all on YouTube, by the way. So, Well, it's not going to any of them. Okay, so then let's do that again. Let's. Well, when you look at these, um, if I click here to lecture one video, there we go. So, I've so here's my orientation video. So these all work. So it's not going to my playlist. I will fix that today. Um, why it's not going to the to those, I don't know. Anyway, these are links to all the videos. I thought I had put links to the playlists here. So if we go to um, YouTube, okay, so here's links to all these. Here's the, bl the, the Blender video tutorials that I was talking about. So if, let me go to these. And that's where these start. Let's go back. Um, we have this Blender tutorial. And here's to the, uh, this should be the link to the Blender tutorial assignment. Come on. Yeah, it's going to YouTube, so it takes a couple of minutes here. This for those of you using Blender. This is the <clears throat> for two point uh, Blender two point eight. This is you know where everything is in Blender two point eight. Learning Blender step by step, you know tutorial, and then you'll do the hammer assignment. Here's two um, videos for that, and then these are all the different tutorials for the donut assignment, and you'll also do it. Um, the cup in the end, and then that's it. I have a bunch of extra ones too, um, but that's pretty much what you need to know for Blender. And <clears throat> the other one that I have, I thought I had made sure. Let's go back. Um, I'll have to check that again. For Blender, well, I thought I had it up here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go to... Um, um, YouTube, and I'll go to my YouTube videos, and <clears throat> I'll put this, uh, maybe I need to put this link up. So um, these are all my playlists. And today for Art 195, um, it will be here. So Art 195 and 195B. 
um, you know, as I'm talking here to all of you, kind of impromptu. But for all of the, again, the Blender 2.8 tutorials, um, for any of my other classes, here's the Blender 3.0 tutorials. And this should take you to the, the list here. There they go. Here are all, there's 11 tutorials. So you should be able to do it um, quite handily. I don't know if you, any of you have, um, have done it before, but I find this to be an excellent series of tutorials. So let's go back again. There we go. So that's the content for all of these. Let me go back to, where did I go? Playlists. So I'm gonna put a different link in Canvas to make sure that this goes to um, the playlist for the class, for all of my classes. Um, <clears throat> okay. I have additional LightWave tutorials down here that are excellent. So these are the playlists to all of them. Um, so let me pause for a minute and see if I have any questions from any of you. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to pause the recording. Okie doke. So the first question um, is by Enrique is, uh, you know, Blender and Lightwave are separate. It's the same class, but you have the choice. And this is the first time I've done this um, since I've taught 3D modeling, since we, I mean, it's been since we've been online, to offer you two options for software to use. You can use Blender or you can use Lightwave. Lightwave is my preferred choice, but Blender is free. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to both. Um, Blender, there are tons and tons of tutorials available online. Just if you want to know anything or do anything in Blender, you will find it in a YouTube video. And you will find um, uh, a number of, I was talking about lynda.com, or now it's LinkedIn Learning um, videos, you'll find exceptional number of courses. There aren't any for LightWave, not anymore. LightWave is also a very robust 3D modeling program. As I said, it is not free. Um, for students, it's about $200. Um, however, you can get a free version, a complete version um, for 30 days. So I know that that doesn't take us through the semester, but there is a workaround that if you have more than one um, email, or even if you don't create another one, and then you sign up again, and then you download it again, and you'll have, you know, you'll have to do that for like three times. Um, and you'll have use of LightWave for free um, for the entire duration of the semester. So it's up to you. If you do, if you use LightWave, I have all of my video tutorials available for you. If you use Blender, then you'll be doing a different set of assignments with the exception of the final assignment since that's open-ended for everybody. But you'll have the video tutorials to follow um, that I've made available for you. Okay, does that make sense? All right, In so... Reality? I'm trying to think what else to say about it. Uh, so we get different assignments if we do Blender, you said. Correct. If you want to give it a whirl, you know, you can, but um, my tutor, you know, there are different software packages. The end result is the same, but how you, how you do it, um, in Blender versus LightWave is very different. So that's why I'm doing different assignment, you know, different tutorials. Maybe this is a mistake, but um, this it's trying to adapt to this online format 
um, and making it accessible to everybody is becoming a challenge. If everybody had $200 to spend on Lightwave, I would just say we're using Lightwave, but not everyone does. So I'm, and you don't have to um, spend money on Lightwave for the full version, but it does take a little bit more work. Now, last semester, I did have some students who were using Blender and it was crashing on them. So I don't know whether it was a problem with their hardware or what. Um, maybe they needed more RAM, they needed a faster processor, they needed a better video card. I don't know. Um, since it's we're remote, um, you know, and online, I don't, I wasn't able to help them solve their their, their problem. Um, some people with Lightwave, even though it's a free, you know, you can download the free version um, uh, for you know thirty days, have difficulty installing it. Um, that's why I, I provided that video for you. Um, if we go back here, whoops. Here, there we go. Um, installing Lightwave. If you watch that, it'll give you instructions um, by Chris Wilson how to do that. So, any more questions, or does that answer your questions? Or yeah, maybe one more about it. So, when should we tell you on which engine, which uh, software we decided on? Um, you don't just when I have assignments due, um, I will try to, to check in and I'll say, you know, okay, if, if you're doing Blender, um, mm, let me think about this um, uh, for because it's uh, Canvas doesn't allow me to have different due dates for the same, you know, have d different options. So I'll probably, you know, look on my this week in, in class and I will have due dates for each. I'll say at this stage, the table and lamp is due. And when the table and lamp is due, if you're doing um, the Blender tutorials, then you should probably finish the hammer assignment. Does that make sense? Yes. When you're doing, um, when we're working on uh, the reboot mic in Lightwave, when we complete that, then probably you should be able to finish the donut itself in Blender. Um, and then when we're doing the toy assignment, if you do the little extra cup in Blender, then that should be done. So you've kind of done all of them, you know, side by side, you know, they're all available kind of parallel to one another. And then, and then the final assignment is due the last day of class. And that should take a, you in, you know, the first group of, of projects should take us into like um, 10 to 12 weeks of the semester. And then the last six to eight weeks of the semester, you should be working on your final project. It sounds like a lot of, a lot, you know, that you have a lot of time, but it, I, I don't know how many of you have worked in 3D modeling before, but it's really not that much time, you know, depending on how much, you know, time per week you're spending on it. Um, if you break it down, um, it would be, let's say you have eight weeks to work on a final project. That means you would have maybe um, two to three weeks to do the modeling, another couple of weeks to really make and refine the surfaces, um, and then another week or two to, um, to refine the lighting and the staging, and then to do your final renders. And that, you know, that is pretty much true for. 3D modeling. It's not like Photoshop or Illustrator or something. They're really kind of involved projects, even simple ones. Does that help? Yeah, I probably think confu I'm probably confusing you more. But um, I think I, I think everything's clear to me. 
Well, which do you prefer to use? Do you want to use Blender or do you want to give LightWave a try? I mean, naturally, I wouldn't want to spend $200 on a student edition or make two more emails just to cheese the free trial method. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, uh, hmm. I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Maybe in my Gmail, when I text you in the Gmail, I'll tell I'll well, notify it's, you. Even if you if you're not sure, um, download Blender and try it, and download Lightwave for thirty days and see if you like it. Seems if you like... don't like it, then just use Blender. Yeah, it seems like a a good option to try both at once within the month. Yeah, within the month, if you decide that you want to switch, then switch. Uh, I think that's it. If if you don't mind, I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll text you when I get back. Okay. All right, thank it, you. Uh-huh. Um, Patrick, do you want to go ahead and talk? Uh, hi, question? Professor. I just want to ask if the assignments for the blend, the blender assignments are the same where the ones are we're going to do in with the tutorials like the donuts the hammer and right and then for the final assignment that will be up to you and that's true for the light wave if you're using light wave as well um it is the final assignment is open-ended you can do a product you can do an organic model of some sort you can do an environment you can do um it's what you can really um kind of immerse what you feel that you really want to immerse yourself in for the final project the, the first series of, of, of assignments sort of get you familiar with 3D modeling and the software itself so that you have a pretty good understanding and um, feel comfortable working in each of those environments. And then the final assignment is, you know, what is it that you enjoy doing and immerse yourself in it and do it. So for example, um, the kind of thing that I'm interested in um, I'm my background is in illustration and fine art. So <laughs> um, what I did this past year, um, this I finished it around February, March. Um, I hope everybody can see it on the screen though, is that I created a virtual gallery for myself. Um, and all of the artwork in the gallery is artwork that I have done. Now, there are a couple of exceptions, like, for example, you see this big chrome chair or stainless steel chair with my head under one of the legs. I made that in a 3D modeling software, and I also printed it out using our 3D printer, but not that big, not at the scale that I'm showing it in here. Okay, but this piece back here and all the pieces on the wall and in this room back here. Um, those are actual projects that I've done. And I just wanted to create a virtual gallery to showcase each of them. And this virtual gallery was done in Lightwave. So that's, you know, that's something that I've that I find interesting. Um, I also, in addition to that, I'm doing this little gallery here that um, my, this is something that my wife and I are working on. And it's going to be, I don't know how many of you have seen, um, uh, oftentimes in the, you know, in little shared libraries that people will put books in a little case in their front yard. And um, make books available to everybody. Um, so that's what this is going to be. It's going to be a little shared miniature gallery. And then um, 
because I what I've done for the the piece that I have up here, the one that I was showing you, is that um, you can access this through a, a QR code or through um, uh, go into you know my my um, um, my website and access it through here as well. But this would be the same thing. You'd put in miniatures of everything. And here's the little mock-up of what this gallery would look like. So if we did, you know, I did a little final rendering of it here. Um, so you can get a, a sense of what it would look like. Okay. So this is the stuff that I'm interested in, but that doesn't mean that's what you have to be interested in. Um, so these are good ideas, I think, for final projects. Whether you're in Blender or you're in Lightwave, it really doesn't matter. Um, it, the important thing is that you learn how to use the software and that you pursue something that really is of interest to you for your final project. Does that make sense? Yes. Patrick? Yes, okay. yes. Thank, uh, thank you, Professor. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, Brenda, do you have do you have any questions since you're in the advanced class? Let me um show you what I have in mind for you this semester. So um, I'm going to switch to the advanced class. I'm in um, Canvas right now. So um, there's advanced three D modeling. And again, let's look at let's um, um, hold on here. Let's look at modules. So these are just the other Blender tutorials, but if you want to, uh, let's look at assignments. That's what I wanted to do. Um, they're up here, there we go. So my recommendation that, you know, for those of you in the, in the advanced class is that I want you to do three projects, six weeks each. Two weeks to model, two weeks to surface and to light. And well, you know, to break it up that way and then to do the final renderings. But my recommendation is since it's of your choice, do a manufactured object. And that could relate to a toy, it could relate to a watch, whatever you want. Do an organic object. That could be uh, an insect. It could be. Um, try to do a character head or a simplified character. And then the third one may be do an environment that could be an interior or an exterior. It would be your choice. Um, it could, doesn't have to be an entire room. It doesn't have to be an entire gallery. It can just, you know, you're dealing with different um, situations, um, different kinds of modeling techniques, different kinds of uh, approaches to, to modeling. Um, but that's what I was thinking for the advanced class. Does that help you, Brenda, at all? There, Brenda. Yeah, okay. So three projects. And if you need to review any of the basic, do you, which, um, Brenda, are you going to be using, Lightwave or Blender? So, you know, if there's a particular project that you're interested in, again, and you're not sure how to approach it for Blender, there's a gazillion tutorials on Lightwave or in um, Lightwave and YouTube. And if you want to follow those tutorials, you're welcome to, because one of the ones that I said, you know, I had for um, Blender, let's go back to, um, Uh, modules. And if we go all the way down to Blender, 
here are these Blender tutorials. If we go back down to the bottom, and these, for those of you who choose to do Blender, don't have to do this. If you want to do it for your, oh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I want. There we go. So down at the bottom here of this one, you'll notice that there is um, there are additional um, videos on lighting for beginners, um, intermediate modeling tutorial. So if you want to do this, he has this anvil that he did. And here are all the tutorials for that. So that would be a manufactured object. If you want, if you're interested in an organic object, you can, I'm sure you'll find tutorials on this. Here's a modeling tutorial for a chair that you could do. Um, there are just tons of them. There's anything that you can think of um, that's, is there for Blender, not so with Lightwave. That's why I'm doing the tutorials and I've been using Lightwave for over 20 years. So that's why I'm dividing it up that way. Um, again, so you don't have to spend the money, um, but you know, Blender isn't my forte. So there are, there are better videos um, by better people um, on Blender than what I can do. So that's why I'm pointing you in that direction. If you want to work with Lightwave, and I encourage you to do so, um, then um, hold on here. Then, um, you know, I can help you with, with that. So. Let me put this back down here. So we're running up against our 11 o'clock hour. Um, I will be here Wednesday. So just let me know what you want to do or if you have further questions. Um, even, you know, in the classroom, this is not an easy course to teach. And it's become especially difficult um, while we're um, here online. So um, I appreciate your patience and I will, I'm here for you. So let me try this again, try the 2.8 list. Hmm. It's supposed to be to the list, so. I'll, I'm going to redo these links. I did this the other day and it's obviously not working. So anyway. Um, if there aren't any questions, then let's um, go ahead and, and end it. And I will end our session for today. I will post this online um so it will be in our shared um youtube video or if we go to, if you go to youtube it will be um in our in our list so here we go back here you can see that i have from my channel playlist if you you know look up kirk miller um then we i have one here for art 195 and art 195b Right now, there's just the orientation video that's in it. Okay, um, but today's talk, uh, it's not really a lecture. Um, we'll be here. Okay, if there aren't any questions, um, then please, um, we'll all, see some of you on Wednesday to try to work out any um, problems that may exist. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll say goodbye to all of you. Okay. For today anyway. <laughs>